for a week in the life working. I just became a full-time content creator and I'm still trying to adjust. I just finished my morning routine. I'm gonna finish putting a little bit of clear brow gel on, but yeah, it's actually been quite a transition from going to being a full-time Pilates instructor to now a full-time content creator and I'm just trying to figure out the swing of things and now that I have all of the time in the world, I wanted to be back on YouTube. <laughs> Before we actually get to the work, we're gonna tidy this up because my brain cannot think when I have clutter everywhere. Um, nothing serious, just need to like put all my jewelry away, tidy up. o'clock in the morning so i'm gonna get started on emails it is now about 11 o'clock in the morning i just finished a ton of like emails and admin work i feel like that's 90 percent of being a content creator is just answering emails all day so i did that i'm now staring at my pr corner that really needs to be cleaned but i keep putting it off i kind of want a coffee before i do any of that so maybe i'll save that for tomorrow i really 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 need to film a video for ollie i'm doing a campaign with them and it's literally due tomorrow i procrastinated because i was so sick all last week i just did not have it in me to film as you can tell my voice is still like <laughs> a little bit congested but anyway i need to film that video unfortunately trent is still asleep in the bedroom so i cannot film in there at the moment so i think i'm gonna either prep for my group class later because even though i'm not a full-time pilates instructor anymore i still teach one group class a week and then i sub every now and then for other group classes and my class is tonight so i think i'm gonna prep for my class that typically just involves me sitting over on this lovely mat and just kind of thinking about what i want to do getting some exercises in my head so i think i'm going to do that and then hopefully trump will wake up so i can film <laughs> just finished filming my video for ollie i just need to edit it trent finally woke up and also if you're like oh my god how is he still asleep that late in the day because like i said it he literally didn't wake up until noon it's because he works night shifts i don't know if i said that but he literally works from like 5 p.m until three o'clock in the morning so he's absolutely allowed to sleep in as late as he wants except sometimes i do need to come in here and film and i obviously don't want to wake him up but that's just the reality of why whenever i'm making my bed in a clip that did not happen in the morning i'm so sorry it's sometimes you gotta <laughs> just do it for the camera <laughs> to Malibu, take a dip in the ocean, and I didn't set any alarms, so that did not happen this morning. I woke up at 9 and I was so confused. Like, you know how you wake up and you expect it to be like still dark outside because I was planning on waking up at like 5 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, well I woke up and it was sunny and I was like, something went wrong. <laughs> but anyway, I just finished my little morning routine. And I sat down to do some emails for a little bit. I have therapy at noon and I wanted to go to the grocery before that. So I think I'm just going to do like maybe 45 minutes worth of emails right now and then head to the grocery.
This is how I typically organize my day. This is just a note in my notes app. I literally type everything out and I keep a little note per week. And then I have all of the weeks listed out. First floor. to edit. I have four workout videos to edit and I want to start editing this vlog even though I think I'm gonna vlog for like two or three more days but I just want to get it started that way I don't overwhelm myself on like Sunday and try to edit the whole thing at once. The thing that I've noticed about being a full-time content creator is you have to be so freaking on top of your time management and like don't get me wrong, I always thought that I was good at that. Like I always thought that I had a skill of time management because in college, it was super easy. You get your list of assignments at the beginning of the semester and I was so good at pacing out my assignments, turning them in on time. I really prided myself on that. And then I became a full-time content creator and I was like, why is this the hardest thing in the world and don't get me wrong i'm not saying being a content creator is hard it's really not it's the organization is just so different than anything i've ever done before and like it's a job where you are fully responsible for like a hundred percent of it like <laughs> i can't rely on a co-worker to give me motivation I can't even rely on due dates to give me a motivation anymore because I set my own due dates. Like, it's not hard, it's just different. And I'm still kind of getting in the swing of things. But anyway, I'm gonna go edit for a little bit and then call it a night. Good morning, I am so tired today. I just went and picked up some packages. This first one is from Kiehl's. Oh my god, stop. This is so cute. Also, if I'm like monotone right now, it's literally because I just woke up and had to walk a mile to my mail room. <laughs> but this is all really, really cute. And I actually love Kiehl's. My only problem with them is that they're not cruelty free, which sucks but I've been using their cleanser for years and years and years and years and I love it so much so oh my god and I'm obsessed with the ultra facial cream and then whoa oh <laughs> cash bags a girl really needed a new tripod <laughs> um this will be linked on my Amazon storefront under content if you're interested. I saw my friend Kelly using this. I'm gonna see her later today. <laughs> anyway, I saw her using this tripod at an event and I was like, okay, I need that. <laughs> Drunk elephant. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Ooh, an eye serum. Love that. And this last package is from Fab Fit Fun. Ooh, oh, oh my god, wait. So 
many goodies are in here. Oh, the Necessaire. This is the body serum. I freaking love Necessaire products, but they're so expensive. So I pretty much never buy them for myself. I just patiently wait and hope that they send me PR. Um, this is only the second time that's ever happened. But anyway, I'm so excited to try this. And then we also got, ooh, some Fenty Skin Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream. I've never tried Fenty Skin. A body cream. Overnight lip mask, love. Curious to see how it compares to the Laneige one because I'm a fan. I know it's like a hit or miss on TikTok, but I personally am a fan of Laneige, except again, not cruelty free. Tula skincare, I've also never tried. Brightening treatment drops. Oh, wait. Triple vitamin C serum. I swear to God, there's so many words on packages sometimes. I don't know what I'm reading. And, ooh, better than sex. Too Faced Waterproof Liquid Liner. Yay. Thank you so much, Fit Fun, even though I know that they're not watching this. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna clean this all up and then go answer a few emails and then we need to get ready because it's an event day. Friday. Let me catch you up. This morning I went to the gym. I kind of regret going to the gym. I know everyone always says you never regret a workout. Mm, I kind of regret my workout this morning because I did not get enough sleep last night. After the event yesterday, I literally went and hung out with one of my best friends, Victoria, which amazing. We were like hot tubbing in the rain, just like girly chatting. It was so much fun. But then I didn't get home until like 11 o'clock at night, which is so late for me. Like I'm usually in bed by eight or nine. So I went to bed super late, woke up so freaking early. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning and I was like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. But I was supposed to work out with my friend Carla. So I was like, okay, got to get it together. You just have to be disciplined and get your butt to the gym. So I get there. Carla didn't even show up. I was so sad, but it's okay. It's fine. I got a workout in. Honestly, it wasn't my best. And I'm so tired. I treated myself to an iced chai after. This is my favorite chai in all of LA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good from Go Get Em Tiger. Also got avocado toast because I was in such a rush this morning that I barely even ate. I took like two bites of a protein bar. That is not a satiating breakfast. So I picked up a piece of avocado toast. I'm gonna go home, shower, and then actually get to work for the day.
Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!